In this video, I want to prove this lemma that if P and Q are distinct primes with A raised to power P is congruent to A modulo Q and A raised to power Q is congruent to A modulo P, then A raised to power PQ is congruent to A modulo PQ. And to prove this lemma, I must need to recall uh, previous results which I have done in my earlier video. And there I have proved what is the Fermat's theorem that if P is a prime, if p is prime and p does not divide a p does not divide a then a raised to power p minus 1 is congruent to 1 modulo p and with this Fermi theorem i have also done one corollary that if it if we leave this condition that p does not divide a and we simply consider that if p is prime then a raised to power p is congruent to a modulo p and I have done the proof of the Fermat theorem and the corollaries proof in my earlier video for A belonging to integer. Now, using this, I want to prove this lemma. So, now in the lemma, what we need to uh, prove is, so let us see that what is given to us is, we have been given that P and Q both are prime and they both are distinct prime. So, let's write P is a prime and Q is a prime and because they are distinct prime, so their GCD is equal to 1. So, we can write down the GCD of P and Q is equal to 1. And we have also given this condition that a raised to power p is congruent to a modulo q and a raised to power q is congruent to a modulo p. So, this is given to us. And now we can see that suppose now for this prime p consider the integer a raised to power q. So, if I consider the integer a raised to power q and from this expression let me to call this as 1. So, from 1 what I can use is instead of this a now I am going to use a raised to power q. So, that means a raised to power q and whole raised to power p this must be congruent to a raised to power q modulo p. So, that, that holds from the Fermi theorem and also noticing from the given conditions and given is that a raised to power q is congruent to a modulo p. So, what we have is a raised to power q is congruent to a modulo p so now let's apply this uh, second and third so from second and third we can see that a raised to power pq this is congruent to a raised to power q but we can see that a raised to power q is further congruent to a modulo p so this means this will imply now from looking at these two we can say that p divides a raised to power pq minus a so now let's hold this for a moment and let me to call this as 4 and now repeat this process now for the second modular condition that is q and in this case we have considered the integer a raised to power q so now let us consider the integer a raised to power p so now consider the integer a raised to power p and if i consider a raised to power p to the power q so this is congruent to a raised to power p and now i can take inside modulo q so now because here also it is q so here also q this is the Fermat theorem and from the given condition you can see that from the second given condition we have a raised to power p is congruent to a modulo q so in addition to this we also have given condition as a raised to power p is congruent to a modulo q so this is given to us now again club these two one so we get that a raised to power pq this is congruent to a raised to power p which is further congruent to a modulo q and so from here i can say that q divides a raised to power pq minus a and let's call now this as fifth now from four and five what we can say is that because the GCD of P and Q is equal to 1. So, now I can take the product PQ divides A raised to power PQ minus A. Or I can simply write A raised to power PQ is congruent to A modulo PQ. And this is what we desire to prove. Let's consider an example to uh, see this lemma. Say, suppose we want to verify and here I consider we want to verify a congruence that is 2 raised to power 340. This is congruent to 1 modulo 341 now in this case we notice that 341 this is equal to the product of two primes that is 11 and 31 
so now that means suppose i want to now work towards considering that here this a is equal to 2 and we have now two primes and this is p and q so using the previous lemma we can look at what is the condition for p and q so noticing that in when i consider modulo 11 so that means here i can take 2 raised to power 10 this is congruent to 1 modulo 11 this is possible and also if i consider 2 raised to power 30 this is congruent to 1 modulo 31 so this is by fermat's theorem so this will hold and also considering the other power so as in the previous case we have considered the other power so that is 2 raised to power 11 this is same as 2 into 2 raised to power 10 this is same as 2 into 1 this is congruent to 2 modulo 31 we can see that because 2 raised to power 10 this is uh, from here we can see that 2 raised to power 10 this quantity is 1024 that is same as 31 into 33 plus 1 so this congress will hold and notice that here if this is p here i got q so now in the similar way i also want to verify what is 2 raised to power 31 this is 2 into 2 raised to power 10 into 3 this is same as congruent to 2 into 1 q this is same as 2 modulo 11 and so if here i got q which is my second uh, prime so inside here i have a p which is the first prime so now because we have uh, this first and we have second and we got third and we got four so all the four congruences are available two are due to the fermi theorem and two as we desired in the lemma so now from here we can simply say that two raised to power pq pq here is 11 into 31 this is congruent to two because it comes as congruent to two modulo 11 into 31 so now i can see that this is 2 raised to power 341 this is congruent to 2 modulo 341 and cancelling this uh, 1 2 on both side because we can see that the gcd of 2 and 341 this is equal to 1 so i can cancel 1 2 and this becomes 2 raised to power 340 is congruent to 1 modulo 341 and we can see that this is what we desire to verify in the question